Groverly Wood, located in Wiltshire, is not just any ordinary forest. This ancient woodland is a place full of fascinating history and it has been a subject of countless tales and legends. There's definitely something in these woods. Oh yeah, more than one thing in these woods. Hello everyone. Hey, that's my line. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Groverly Wood was once a significant Roman settlement. Archaeological findings suggest that the Romans used this forest for several purposes, including a strategic military site. And as we're walking around the forest, and we will find some remnants of the presence of the Romans along this road. Now, there is something different about this Roman road, isn't it? So, this road goes straight through the centre of this ancient woodland. It's a Roman road, but it's actually tarmacked. It's probably the only tarmacked Roman road that goes through woodlands in the UK. And the reason it's tarmacked is it was actually used as a military area in World War II. So we had um, a lot of soldiers up here. There were ammunition dumps um, and obviously Salisbury is a big military area. Right. There was in, a Roman village, right? Was it further down, Hanging, hanging, hanging Langford. Langford? Yeah, and it's still habited today. Um, and within these woods we've got some tumuli, um, so they're not Roman, but the old sort of burial grounds. Right. Grimm's ditches, so they're a sort of bank and um, ditch which sort of marked boundaries. Um, but now this woodland is owned by the Earl of Pembroke and it's part of his sort of Wilton estate. In Chilmark, we've got um, underground bunkers, we've got big sort of aircraft hangars and things like that in Dinton, which is oh, right. two villages which are sort of off these woodlands. So the whole area was was being used. And of course, like every Roman road in the country, I'm expecting this to have ghosts and militia walking up. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's, there have been reports of walking food, um, and it's always been put down to Roman soldiers. But actually, we've had the World War II military through here, so who's to say it's not them wandering along the road? Yeah, the that's night. true. Yeah, but a lot of people who've been up here at night report they feel like they've got people following them. Whether it's the soldiers or some other spirit in the woods, I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Let's step on the road. Let's keep our ears keen. Yeah. Just in case. Open. This forest over the centuries has become a hotspot for sightings and mysterious occurrences. One of the most famous legends here is the one of the four witches. Sounds like whispers. There is no wind. The whispers around here are really creepy. You hear the humming. How oh, weird. I can hear something. I got goosebumps. Oh, <laughs> we captured something amazing here. It's coming from yeah, that it's coming from that side. And now there's a plane. <laughs> Picked in the meadow this morning some wildflowers. I think it's important to say actually to anyone that leaves clooties on trees is 
just leave behind natural materials because you can see there's a lot of people who've left really sweet things but they're bits of plastic if you bring treasures yeah to places like this just make sure that they will rot away doesn't care look yeah that's always going to be there <laughs> unless they clean it up yeah which i'm not sure they do here the candy is candy candy yeah. but it's covered in a Plastic. Yeah, I did leave some. I, I, I did leave my little ribbons around the country. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just trying to spread the word. Just yeah. Natural so, 1737. Indeed. The Hansel sisters. So they were dragged up into this wood, so the story goes. Um, whether they lived in nearby Wilton or um, Great Wishford, we don't know. Right. Um, there is evidence of Danes living in this area. They were called Daners. Um, but the story is these four sisters moved into the area and there was an outbreak of smallpox. I think it killed 137 people. Oh, wow. So it's a big one. And... It was right at the end of sort of the witch, witch, witch hysteria right, right. that was going on. And the villagers, this would have been quite a rural area. Um, they were probably a bit sort of ignorant. And, and they blamed the sisters for the smallpox outbreak. So they dragged them up into the woods and bludgeoned them to death. And they buried them separately so that they couldn't conspire from the grave after their death. And the story is that these four beech trees grew up on the top exactly of the each four grave. Spots. grave. Wow. Yeah, and this being probably the biggest, most impressive one of them. We've got some recent evidence coming in that this story might be a little bit different to what we thought because obviously it is a all these legends they start on a grain of truth and they grow to something. No. But at the moment, that's that's the story we have, and lots of people have been up here in the woods and. They say that there's a very feminine energy here. Right. So if you're sat within the circle of the trees, as we are right now, you're perfectly safe from any negative energy. Oh. Um, and if you ask the sisters to come close, which we could, come and see oh. us. We're peaceful, <laughs> friendly. They will come come close to you within the circle. And women's sort of shadows have been spotted whispering voices on the wind um, yeah i was noticing that earlier yeah earlier. i was uh, just standing here by myself and uh, you know that there is a gentle breeze which if you pay attention is not making any sounds but yeah. i think that a camera might have picked it up so this is one of the trees there's um three of them that are standing and one's a no. pile of logs which I think, shameful. yeah women were vilified especially anyone who didn't um, conform to the men's norms at the time yeah so possibly four sisters if they hadn't married they would have been seen as weird and different fortunately the poor sisters got the blame and here they may well lay i mean it is possible that someone planted a seed and on top of the graves just so that people knew that they were there yeah like that, yeah sort of. um the other theory being at some point there was a boundary that came through this woods and actually are the four trees planted in a line to mark that boundary right so <laughs> let's stick with the witches trees because a lot of people have had really strange experiences yeah. up here Let me tell you about one that, and I actually got sent this after the blog came out, and it was from a local girl called Abby. She came up here with a group of friends post-exam. They decided to camp out in the woods one night. They had a fire, they had a few drinks, there was some wild dancing and laughing, and, and they eventually sort of settled down, four squashed in the tent, the rest of them around the fire to sleep. And it was Abby, she said, 2 a.m., she woke up and she could hear this ethereal sort of singing very mystical feminine singing she said the others had woken up so they poked their head out of the tent the fire was still going and, and the people around the, the campfire they had woken up as well and they all heard it they tried to think what could it be is it someone playing music is this someone up here singing but i mean look around us there are no roads no. there's no houses 
there's not it's pretty out of the way she said the singing it felt like it went on for a long time but actually it was probably only a couple of minutes all in all and it and then it disappeared and they they didn't get back to sleep that night they couldn't quite make out what she was singing but it sounded quite oldie worldy style and i personally wonder if there are feminine energies up here that look to protect other women in the woods that perhaps that night they came near to guard abby and her friends quite a strange story it is a very strange yeah. story oh. creepy <laughs> lovely thank you wow So the first time I came here was a couple of weeks ago just to have a look around. And as soon as I entered the woods, I felt my arm touching. It's the strangest thing. I feel like there's something that is touching my arms. Both arms have got nothing on. It went from one arm to the other. She's really strange. I'm actually looking, but I've got nothing on me. It's quite strange. On the way out, I felt it on my face. Did you? Oh my god, it, it was the yeah. strangest thing, and it's happened again here a now. Friend of mine, we call her the secret psychic because she doesn't like anyone to know about her gift. Okay, but she and now just, everybody's gonna know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna tell you who she is, but she won't come up here anymore. She says there's um, some sort of elemental energy, so that is obviously like fairies, but a dark energy, which might explain in pockets of the woods, and I don't. Like I've said to people before, I feel lovely parts of this wood round here is fine, but there are bits of it that are a little bit more sinister. Dark, right. Yeah. So it's interesting that my friend said she's felt something quite a real old energy. So that's um, no. elementals. That's no. like the fae kind of something to do with the trees and the land and the earth. Wow. Here's like, if you look down here, little fairy doors. Beech trees are quite magical trees. So they are like the mother, where the oaks, the father of the forest. It's huge sort of canopy is, it's almost to give shelter to travelers. So if you're weary or tired, you can come and sit under a beech tree and it will rejuvenate you. That's mine. Oh, that's yours. Yeah, that's mine. Oh, and I went to the other tree and I said, on the first yeah, one I found. No, <laughs> well Sorry. I, I did leave know. one. So the Birkin Woodsman. There's two stories. So he was either a poacher up here looking for food and he got shot accidentally because this was the Lord's hunting ground. Or he was an artist and he was up here painting and you've obviously mentioned the beautiful light of the woodlands and you can see why somebody would want to be up here mm. painting and again he was ac accidentally shot so whoever the Birkham woodsman is he is sometimes seen shadows behind trees but you'll also witness him because you'll hear the crunching and breaking of sticks as he's walking through stalking through the woodland behind you did that yeah. fell i actually got it on video <laughs> yeah, so there you go. You him. i heard the twig snap and there was no wind there was nothing i was yeah. just there and is he um human looking just a shadow i don't think anyone there aren't any like because you get these little tidbits of information and i pull them all together where they come from and the fight the more detailed you can't always get that someday someone might say well actually yes i saw a shadow and it was definitely a man and it was this so we can build upon it but if we don't record it 
we're never gonna no that's true we're never gonna find out more but equally i mean a lot of it can be just mistaken identities you yeah. see something out the corner of my eye or yeah you know, so um anyone who knows about ghosts knows that you've got to be open-minded there's plenty of explanation We're going all Blair Witch on this one. Going a okay. Yes. Not here, not. Stop. Oh, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Easy to miss. So the fence is down. You can get close to it, but you, you can... Yeah, is this what you tripped over? Yeah. This never used to be here. Okay. okay. If you're adventurous, there's a way in here ish. In this way. No, here. Yeah, it's pretty overgrown now. Yeah, it is very overgrown. When I came here before, it's also, if you look, that is coming down soon. Yeah. I wonder who used to live here though. I don't know, maybe it was one of the houses where they put the soldiers for World War II? That, that, that was my thought. And given out to the soldiers maybe stationed around there. Yeah. Could be just an old farm cottage that they just... Yeah, I don't know if you can go around. There seems to be a little path to go around. We're going in. Hold on. Wow. You can only hear buzzing. Yeah, that's what I mean, isn't it weird? This could easily be the top part of the house. No birds. No birds. Bees. Wow. No birds. So I wonder what the story is about this house. I originally came here. I didn't really um, know much about it, but this was uh, a comment that was left on the blog about Groveley Woods. And there was a guy who said he was up cycling, cycling through the woods with his friend. His name was Trev and he was stood outside. They found this house. He was stood outside and they said this old guy came up to them and he started talking to them, telling them about the woods, telling them about all the soldiers that were stationed in the woods in World War II and this particularly um, people of colour from America, platoon were based here. And they had a nice discussion and then said, we're going to carry on. Did you hear that? Sounds like screaming. Was, yeah, that was a bit weird. They went to say goodbye. They got back on the bike, went to say goodbye to this guy and he totally disappeared. <gasps> and it might be nothing. Yes, you could disappear into the woods here, but 
I suspect you would have seen him go. Yeah, or and, heard him, because yeah, he's so quiet around here. Yeah. If anything moves you, hear it. Yeah, and I think... I'm not saying it's a ghost and I'm not saying that Trev, the guy who wrote in, was saying that, but it was a weird enough experience that he felt he needed to leave a comment. So maybe he had a discussion with someone that was once lived here yeah. or based up here. I was reading that um, a lot of soldiers during World War II were stationed around here and I don't know, I get the feeling that this might have been one of the places where there were... Yeah, maybe. You don't find many of these in the woods, do you? Never. But of the Roman road, they used to have the soldiers carrying mm. equipment and stuff. So there must have been yeah. something here. Here's the mysterious house in the woods. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give us two thumbs up. And I shall see you in the next one. And please do check out Emma's website, links below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>